have said date yet. Basically, there's no like you know waz like turning or any of the straight or any of that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all it's very Diablo like quick to move, etc., etc. No, no uh, movement from the uh, the keyboard. Yeah. It's uh, all all movement is done on the on the mouse. Uh, it's very much you know like Diablo three in that there will be skills and powers that you will run from from the keyboard. Okay, uh, as yeah. well as healing and stuff like that. So I keep more pressing. The most part, yeah. Well, any of the boss encounters require, you know, coordination with your your, your party mates, or is it, you know, oh, yeah. can, you, can anybody? No, we get. There'll be definite strategies to fighting the bosses. Um, We've tried to design each one so that they have you know, strengths and weaknesses. And it, it'll help to have, you know, some characters will have a better chance, you know, better skills that match well with the weaknesses of the other bosses and stuff like that. So. Okay. But nothing too complicated as to require, you know, people do research on, like, then if we're World of Warcraft, you, you have to look up yep. the encounters or else you don't know it, what to it do. It won't be that bad. Okay, <laughs> that's great. That's good to hear. Which is uh, playing at the same time she's around somewhere. That's the uh, that. Oh, oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. That skill where the people have their that stuff on their feet. She like it's like a buff or you no? Know, it chains the people to the ground. Oh, okay. Nice. Epic loots. So one thing we didn't actually talk about much was that. Uh, Powers library, but did yeah, you get one powers, drop? Uh, sorry, one I think one drop, didn't you? Yes. Right oh, there. there it is, Grand Smash. Yes. So the powers you collect, you have to memorize it first. Oh, cool. uh, right click, it's right there near the end. This way, this way, this way. There it is. Right there. Oh. So powers are, are items on the ground? Yes. You pick up. Oh, okay. You pick up. And they build, go into your library and then. Uh, that library is used for everybody, so you might find like a headbutt, and then a whole bunch of different characters can now use the headbutt skill or whatever because it makes sense that a whole bunch of people right, can do okay. it. There are also skills that are very specific to particular uh, enemies, like only their Hulk Smash is only for Hulk, sure, you know, yeah. the, those kind of things. Uh, so there's some unique powers and some, you know, uh, broader general powers. Okay. Right, right, exactly. So you fill out your library of powers and then, uh, you know, make custom builds out of combining which four of these powers that I'm going to use. Is there, uh, is, are the powers ever like, you know, rare drops that you'll have trouble getting some of the powers? Yeah. Or is it, is, as you play the game, you'll get all the powers. Oh, nice. Got the, uh, kind of kind of kind of there are hundreds of costumes <laughs> in the game, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's great. I think that Jimmy Madrock's selling uh, Hulk's purple pants. <laughs> the original purple pants. As cool as Hulk it, uh, is, purple pants, come on. It's a classic look. There, there it is. <laughs> nice and tight. Nothing <laughs> says 70s like purple pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 
So the, these open, these open, uh, open areas. Uh, yeah. Is there an upper limit as how many players can be on these at once? There will. We we don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's going to be mainly tuning and balance and stuff. Uh, but. Um, it, it'll be pretty high. Pretty high. Okay. Yeah. Will it ever get you know so crowded on screen that you can't really tell who's who? Since I would certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would have too. Not, it will not. It, we won't let. I mean, when you're in a group, just like in Diablo, uh, you know, when you're in a group and there's a bunch of people running around and doing stuff, it, it gets pretty crowded pretty quickly. Um, but you know, the zones are really big, and so having uh, you know, 50 people in a zone or whatever, and they're all spread out. It really isn't gonna. You're not gonna really notice that much. You'll see occasionally people running around, and you'll kind of dynamically interact with people. Like, oh, we ran across Scarlet Witch. You know, she okay. happened to be there, and so we're we're playing together now. Oh, okay. That's the kind of that's the kind of social dynamic, social MMO ness that will happen. Yeah. So, really so every once in a while, you'll see you'll see other people, like real people. Right. But it won't be as bad as say someone's camping at the boss, and you're like, you don't want to like wait in line for that. No, <laughs> we're we're specifically putting you know instances in the game so people can't. Can't do and that. Bosses, things like that. Okay. We're also doing, you know, the, the reason we have the public missions is so you get this sense of cooperation. Hey, there's something going on. And I want to help few, out. Yeah, a few people can come and participate. You participate and get rewarded. And so it's like the heroes are coming together to do stuff together. And we think that creates a lot of great social interaction. Yeah. One big team up that everyone's yeah, yeah. together. And it's a full retail game, right? It's not a premium game. It's no, a no, full. Free. Just completely oh, it's a free. free. Oh, okay. Oh, completely free. Completely free. Wow. Completely free. Right, that's no that's an important detail. <laughs> no sure hidden. Yeah, it's not. I'll say like free to play Xbox. Oh wow. Yeah, no, completely free. Free to download, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Are there going to be uh, like paid DLC or? or uh, uh, we haven't started your, talking about okay, yeah. our exact stuff that we're going to be selling, but uh, you know. We, it won't be content-based stuff, right? So, okay. Oh, you have to pay money to get into this new area or something like that. That's oh, wow. Um, and this is on PC only right now? PC only right now. Any plans for a Mac version or console? We love the Mac. I, I use a Mac. So do I. Yeah. The first platform we'll support beyond PC yeah, like, we'll is be going to be Mac. Good to hear. But we have not announced it. Come, come, okay. come, come to the Model Games panel. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how many heroes are you looking at uh, for uh, playability sake? We, is that, we haven't is that a, set a, a number yet, but it, it's, there's quite a few. We've announced uh, like about 17, 18 so far, okay. so you get an idea there. I mean, one of the key things is we want to make sure that we're doing obviously the big characters, you know. So the iconic you know, characters, the, the, Avengers, sure. the Avengers, Spider-Man, so on and so forth. But, um, we also want to have you know, less than the... Yeah, we got some obscure characters that are going in and stuff too. Are we gonna see? Are we gonna see Squirrel Girl? Squirrel Girl, is that? as we've mentioned a couple of times. Well, Bendis is writing it. I feel like he's. Bendis uh... is a fan of Squirrel Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bendis is almost the man who is likely to force us to put in more obscure characters. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No, we really do want to make sure that you know we've got a full range. Definitely. Since I mean, it's an like MMO, for that, you know, from a it's gonna, we're gonna, it, you know, it's gonna start, yeah. and then it's a we get to constantly add to it, right? And that's yeah, that's really awesome. exciting. Yeah. yeah, we'll be able to do a lot of tie-ins with events in the mar you know, that are going on with oh, okay. the movies really nice and thing is, things in the comics and stuff like that. You'll be able to tie that into the game. It's oh, gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, like Avengers vs. X Men, for example, like the big summer crossover, you can like you know make like a, a, a pack for that or, or a section. Yeah. And the bonus also is that you know with eight thousand characters in their library, like we're going to be doing it for a while. <laughs> yeah, you probably won't be running out of ideas anytime soon. Out. No, <laughs> there is a deep, deep, deep well, book to mine here. That's <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody had said that, like there's eight thousand or something characters in the Marvel yeah, Universe. 8, that's yeah. Crazy. It so, was a house of ideas. So they got busy for a while. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, you know, I think the really exciting thing for us is like when we talk about it in the office about like character X, character Y, you can pretty much name anyone and we'll be like, 
usually it's like it'll be really cool to put that character in the game. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Occasionally we do come up with silly ones because you know eight thousand characters does include Aunt May. <laughs> we love him. Yeah. But, the, the la- <laughs> but there's still so many, so many people, and then also like you, you get into big arguments about like which is the which alternate costume is the best. Like you know, which one do we put in first? You know, there's a lot of that too. So. Like power levels of the characters. Oh, this guy oh, could yeah. be stronger. This guy should be weaker. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's tricky. I mean, we got to try and make a game that's relatively balanced, you know. But yeah. we still want them to feel, um, you know, feel right. You know, feel like the character that you expect to be playing. Of course, it's a trade-off.